from the telegraph to the telephone to broadband, wireless and satellite connectivity. People have always taken advantage of better ways to communicate. Phone calls and television transmissions have been crossing the Atlantic by satellite for over 40 years. 40 years ago, satellite networks didn't carry internet traffic. Today they do, and advanced ground networks carry fast broadband internet alongside them. With voice over IP, the broadband internet can even bring you your telephone service too. Although ground networks act as testbeds for new technologies, they are limited in their reach. Connection for many remote areas can be highly expensive and impractical. Ground networks lack the wide instant coverage of satellites. But today's satellites do not yet form an integral part of the internet. Most are simply relays for signals that they receive and amplify. This is about to change as satellites make increased use of current network technology. Wired broadband networking and internet use have advanced considerably in the last decade. Wireless networking is advancing too. Imagine a world where wireless broadband and global network connectivity are always available, even in remote locations. Every vehicle can be a part of the information superhighway. Every ship at sea is a floating network. An airplane becomes a flying network. Wherever you are on the planet, you can be connected to the internet. Satellite networking can help make this possible. Satellites are already passing IP traffic between their ground-based networking elements. Satellite users and satellite operators are already using IP in their networks. So it makes sense that the satellite itself uses IP too. As the space and ground infrastructures merge, it becomes increasingly important that there's a common frame of reference, the internet protocol, to enable end-to-end -end quality of service and a common framework for management. Cisco Systems is leading this development. The next generation of wireless and mobile technologies are at the cutting edge of this adoption of IP. This is Cisco's mobile access technology. It forms the core component of Cisco's mobile router family. In a demonstration of secure mobile networking by NASA Glenn Research Center, a mobile router was tested for seamless wireless and satellite connectivity on board the US Coast Guard's Near Bay Icebreaker in the Great Lakes. This mobile router has already been launched to a new frontier, space, integrated into the UK Disaster Monitoring Constellation Satellite, or UK DMC. The satellite was built in less than 18 months at the University of Surrey in Guildford, England, by Surrey Satellite Technology Limited. It took less than eight months to integrate a commercial Cisco router as an experimental payload. Surrey Satellite Technology Limited, or SSTL, specializes in advanced and rapid response, low cost, small satellite missions. It's all based on using commercial off-the-shelf components so that we can provide rapid access to space for new payloads and new ideas. The Cisco payload is a prime example of being able to get a payload with a new idea up into orbit, try it out in a real environment rapidly and at low cost. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hopefully. Launch command now. The UK DMC satellite is one of a number forming an international constellation for rapid daily imaging of any point on the Earth's surface. Every 100 minutes, these satellites circle the Earth in sun-synchronous orbits at an altitude of just under 700 kilometers. Digital images of the planet are then downloaded to ground stations using IP. By operating them together, we can achieve imaging anywhere on the Earth's surface within a 24-hour period. 
cutting the delivery times by almost an order of magnitude. Cisco's involvement in the disaster monitoring constellation shows the importance that the company places on partnering with organizations that have expertise in space, defense and security, and addressing the special needs of those fields. When you think about our future, the satellite industry and the ability to communicate on land or through space and to get those two working together off an open industry protocol, the IP protocol if you will, will change many aspects of our lives. Cisco is proud to partner with the Surrey Satellite Technologies and the NASA Glenn Research Center, focusing on the UK DMC onboard router project. A Cisco mobile router in space allows experiments with packet routing in orbit to be made from ground stations. The satellite becomes a test harness for the router and forms a network of interconnected onboard payloads that are also internet-enabled computers sending packets across the satellite's internal network. Network-enabled satellites have their benefits. Satellites that are able to switch packets between transponders at different frequencies are able to use their transponders more flexibly and open the door to new applications never before envisioned. The multiplexing inherent with internet protocol shifts link allocation away from circuit switch reservation and allows increased use of the satellite capacity with bandwidth on demand. Better integration of internet protocol with lower layers provisions the tight coupling necessary for quality of service across the network, not just on the satellite link. Even with increasing numbers of onboard transponders and the use of spot beams, increased capacity, additional flexibility, and support of advanced link management and switching required for spot beams demands increased onboard processing on each satellite. As the amount of onboard processing increases and satellites become computationally smart, the scope for making each satellite more of an intelligent network device also increases. This can be accomplished with smarter internal satellite buses, enabling payloads to communicate using common standards across the bus. Putting a router on the satellite bus helps make it smarter and enables integration between the payloads and with the ground. The satellite is the natural point to handle packet replication for IP multicast to subscribing ground networks. Satellites can communicate with millions of terminals to make all sorts of new applications possible. It allows for advanced thinking in terms of IP capabilities on how that's going to advance space industry understanding in terms of changing what can be done and cannot be done. It will allow over time a completely seamless implementation of space versus ground implementation of applications and data transfer. And data to me is data, voice and video, completely transparent underneath this IP protocol, if you will. In future, the internet will truly be in space too. With full onboard processing, decoding to baseband and switching packets, copying packets out to inter-satellite links becomes a small incremental step that will increase the flexibility of communication of new spacecraft. This evolution towards true space-based networking will take place as Cisco continues to learn about and develop what works for satellite applications. It will change very dramatically how industry and government and nations view space-based network solutions. It will be not just the exception, but an integral part of their strategy in determining how do they implement the networks. But it requires government and business working closely together, organizations learning how to partner in a seamless manner. And it will, as I alluded to earlier, require the merging of space and ground infrastructures in a way that is transparent to the users. Increasing the flexibility and reach of networking helps make the internet more useful for everyone. By engaging with the space industry and experimenting with its first onboard router, Cisco is demonstrating its commitment to developing satellites as true network devices, increasing the power of the network.